guys, so this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you how to create this card by using a rice stamp. Not rice stamp, rice lake stamp. So this rice, uh, rice lake stamp, uh, I created a video to share with you guys how did I get the inspiration to create this rice lake steak. Steak? <laughs> rice lake stem oh my god i think i'm hungry okay sorry about that so if you like to know where's the rice lake and how did i get the inspiration i will put the link below and you can check it out that video so in today's video i'm going to share with you guys two different ways to create a card like this one we are going to start with the background first and then the other one we are going to stamp the background and apply the color so they both work perfect and that is really depending which way you like and I'm, go, um, I'm also going to share with you when I create this car what kind of issue I have and hoping that will save you some um, some time that you don't go through with that but before we start today's video um, I would like to share with you guys how I taking care of my magic mushroom because we are going to use this magic mushroom to do the blending and as you know local kings magic mushroom can do the tapping rubbing circling they're all in one so they're a great tool but uh, every tool you got to learn how to use it the right way right and also you got to taking care of your tools so that way they will last longer so that's it that's the start it okay so first you can see there's two set of uh, magic mushrooms sitting on my table um this set is brand new i just want to share um show you that they are uh, come with uh, all the sponge um the colorful sponge and uh, they are just come um they are just out from container and then it just looks cute sitting in front of uh, my desk and then when i create a car create uh, create a project they just like a little mini audience and then uh, watch what i'm doing okay so that's the one um i use for display and this is the one that i use uh, all the time and you can see the size i'm uh, um, compared with the used one and the new one is pretty much the same because the lay if you don't use them in one or two days they will come back to original shape and then when you touch it they are actually pretty hard okay so i don't clean my magic mushroom every time after i use so um but I think a lot of you guys want to know how to clean it, right? So, um, oh, that's, uh, um, yeah, let's do the clean one first. So the yellow, that's yellow, orange, you can still see the color. I am a messy uh, crafter. So you guys probably more neater than me. So I have a bowl of the water and then this is a <laughs> poo poo's water bowl. No, I just have one extra. So um, you can see I don't have a lot of water inside. I only probably have only like a quarter um, inches of water. And then we are going to just dip in like a, the foam part inside the water. And then you kind of just uh, tap a few times and then squeeze out and then tap a few times, squeeze out and tap a few times and squeeze out. Okay, and then I have a one wet cloth and I have a one um, dry cloth handy. So just make sure all the water is, um, you squeeze the, the extra water out and then when you touch it, they are kind of moisture. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are confused with the makeup sponge because you, you can get some um, makeup sponge for a dollar store of um, um, drugstore and then you just uh, check it out it works I'm happy for you so just use it and then you can see the difference between these two sides right so this one is ready to use when you touch it they are kind of damp and then uh, when they are too wet you are going to have a problem to pick up the ink they will not pick up the ink um, you will find it. If they are too dry, they don't blending well because the uh, all tool is designed for blending, not just for um, tapping or punching. So they are they can do everything you want to do, but just uh, make sure clean your tool. So see what the size is different, right? So what I'm doing, I'm going to just uh, um, clean it. So you just uh, kind of just. Uh, like this, you don't have to run through the 
run through the um, tap water kind of just do like that and then um, this one still have some ink on top so you can just repeat do a few times and then squeeze out the extra water so they after that their shape supposed to be like a very wrong and puffy um, if you want to try some makeup sponge you can try and you find out once when they soften and you just squeeze it they kind of deform okay so I know they look similar but if they work for you that's great just watch the video pick up the technique and try on your your own sponge it's uh, just as simple as it is okay so um there's a few i'm going to just do a few more see i'm kind of just squeeze a few times and these uh, few color you can see that my water is getting a little bit red okay and then I usually don't have a problem with uh, all other sponge just uh, the yellow one because the yellow is so sensitive any color you mix uh, you will lose that pretty bright color so just the yellow color I always spend a little bit more time to cleaning okay so the blue one I think this is the blue the one uh, the last car I used to create my um, dear car so it's actually see it's very um, see how dirty this not dirty how a lot of uh, color is uh, stay on your magic mushroom so you really have to clean that pigment not pigment the ink which is sitting on your magic mushroom so that way if you want to start from the light color again you won't have a problem so we do few times and then if you still have a lot of uh, cleaning to do I will suggest you to change the water to use the clean water okay so just dry like that and uh, I'm going to change the water and clean the rest of them okay you can see those uh, magic mushroom they have been grown up two times bigger than the original one so they are ready to use and some of them when you tapping them you still can find that they are a little bit moisture so that's okay because before I use it I will still rub it um, through my cloth I don't know this the ink supposed to be like a, I don't know it's not permanent ink, but my hand always get messy okay so we are going to create the car like that and I'm going to share with you one we are going to start with the background first I mean the color the rubbing part first and the other one we are going to stamp the image and then we are going to apply the color it's so easy and um, um, you just got to know how to use your tool selling a product is easy but uh, showing your customer how to use it the right way that's important um, if they are happy they will come back to you again right so we are going to use the, our peaceful neighbor um, stamp set and matching that matching that set, set so I found out this uh, envelope like a pouch uh, from Amazon and uh, um, I think it's awesome and I actually working through all my rubber stamp so I'm trying to category all the different kind of stamp and I have a lot of stamp so I'm sure you do too so once when I finish I will share how I storage all my um, my rubber stamp so we're gonna use the rice lake we're going to use uh, this uh, um, piece of our neighbor and then we are going to use uh, the Cougar 100 pound I will put the link below you can get these paper bond markers or you can just use the recollection cardstock um, from the Michaels and um, I did it because uh, I'm going to do a lot of uh, blending right so in the beginning I was kind of worried so I used the Kenson watercolor cardstock uh, 130 pound but as you know the watercolor paper is not really smooth so when I do my background and I try to stamp my rice lake image the image because the surface the texture they have some kind of tape texture so they don't really um, show well compared with these two so I just found out the regular car that is just fine but use a little bit thicker one because uh, that way when we rub we don't have to worry about the paper um, um, we don't have to worry about uh, if the paper is too thin so I have actually two image 
can you tell which one is the print which one is uh, the stamp one of them is actually the stamp and one of them is a print can you take a guess want to know the answer so this one the one with a white border is actually stamped with a versifying impact. This one is actually a print with my laser printer. It's pretty much uh, um, similar, right? It's very, very detailed. And uh, I wish you guys can visit the Rice Lake one day when you are in Vancouver. Okay, so we are going to start to do our coloring and we are going to, um, I'm going to share with you a few. So the first one on the package today is the color, right? Some water here. So there is the water, uh, the the color print. You can always use that print uh, layout to help you choose the color. And then also another idea is Pinterest or the Facebook. Sometimes when you see the good photo, I always just a screenshot. So this was the image, which gave me idea to create a car like that. A little bit different with the color, but that's okay. Um, just uh, get idea and then you can try all different kind of color, right? And I'm sure I have a other stamp is uh, suitable for this kind of technique. But once when you watch this demo, you will realize this is so easy. I know a lot of you guys that uh, um, struggle with this much mushroom. Just watch more um, more video and uh, give it a try. Use your tool, bring your tool, and uh, do more practice. Uh, you guys are going to be fine. And then I am going to try to do my best to show you. Okay, so I put my um, Cougar 100 pounds car stack on the, this piece of metal so that I have something to hold and then to prevent my finger get dirty. And then I am going to use a memento um, die base impact. You can use any kind of memento, um, sorry, any kind of die base impact will work just fine with our magic mushroom. If you have a magic mushroom, if you don't have it, use uh, any tool that work. Um, it will work just um, it, like any kind of sponge. Just give it a try. Maybe it works just fine, right? So you can use uh, the distract ink. You can use the uh, stamping out close to my heart. Any kind of dye base impact will work fine. If you want to use the oxidize, I have been keeping repeating in my video, the oxidize is kind of pigment impact. If you don't clean your sponge uh, or match mushroom after you use the oxidize ink after a while your sponge will getting hard if you don't believe me give a try so just be careful if you use a pigment impact oxidize or brilliance uh, impact or versa uh, versa chalk um so you when you find that those ink is a little bit like a milky creamy um pad you got to be very careful so um in my last few video i was share with you guys how did i use re inker to create a few of the new color i found my favorite blue this is 23 forest blue if you like to see how to create your own um, impact by use the re ink refill i will put the link below so just uh, go check it out okay I'm going to use my yellow um, makeup, uh, the magic mushroom first. Um, I when I touch it, I still feel a little bit thin. So um, if when you touch it, they have to be bounced back right away. That's a um, that's a great um, sponge. You can do it if you kind of squeeze it and then they just stick with the shape. It didn't bounce like you won't be able to blend because your surface is not going to be smooth, right? So tool are meant to be used. Um, you got to use your tool and then, um, but you just got to taking care of your tool after you use. So I'm going to just take this away. I have the rainbow color here. The first one, we're going to do the dandelion. Actually, this is not yellow enough. Let me go grab another yellow. Okay, so I found out this mementos dandelion is just not a light um, enough yellow. So I have this Catherine Puller chiffon. I think at least the yellow should be um, better. So that's testing it. See if my magic mushroom is uh, clean. So I'm going to just grab. So that's good enough. Let's see. I think my match mushroom is still a little bit ink on top. So that's just... Uh... Okay, 
So now, I think that's good enough. I am going to, you can tap, you can brush uh, any way you like, but I prefer, usually I prefer um, brush my impact instead of tapping. Okay, so um, when you do tapping, it's uh, so easy. You just tap in the bumps, right? But we want to do a little bit rubbing and circling. So what I'm gonna do is, it's very important that when you use this tool, you're going to use your finger to support that spongy part you don't want to wiggly the head like this any tool they will break the head so I actually have a one I didn't really pay attention um it crack, crack, crack a little bit you don't want to happen but I using my mushroom almost every every day so it's really heavy heavily used and I'm not gentle with my tool Maybe you guys have to be a little bit gentle to your tools. They will last a little bit longer. Okay, so we are going to start to dragging and we're going to just try to draw a line as horizontal as you can. Okay, so if you have a um, this um, stamp or anything you like to work, even you don't need the image, just give it a try. So I'm going to start from my um, nine o'clock to the three o'clock. So you always start from your scrap paper you um, don't start from the top of your car because it's going to have a star mark, that circle. We're going to try to avoid it. So I'm going to just do one direction and then we're going to ink again. Okay, and then I'm going to just drag again. Okay, very important and see how I support my sponge. Okay, I use my finger, try to sponge that, try to support the sponge. I don't just drag it like this way. You can see the head is already twist. I use my sausage finger, try to support my phone. Don't squeeze too hard. If you squeeze too hard, you change the shape. So just give a little bit support, like uh, holding a little bow. <laughs> and then we'll kind of just uh, one right to the left, right to the left. Or one direction okay you don't stop in the middle you kind of just uh, go like this try to do horizontal as much as you can okay. I'm going to switch back to my memento okay, okay. just uh, my favorite impact okay? So the yellow is a little bit yellower than that one, but definitely a little bit more juice, juicy. Okay, see you can see the color, the coverage is, is much faster. Okay, so we start from the middle and then we're moving to the up. Just one direction, go all the way, all the way. Okay, and then I cut my paper a little bit bigger so that way I can just trimming it, right? So let's do that. Right to the left, right to the left, just like a brush. Okay, so in the middle, we can repeat a few times, but on the top and the bottom, we are gradually release the a little bit pressure on your finger. So that's how we get this uh, lighter color. Okay, like this more in the middle okay that's good enough and unless the button you want to have a more but I actually kind of want to add a little bit green so now we do or um, or yellow now I'm going to move to uh, my orange so we are going to use that yellow as a foundation and build it up the color so my Magic mushroom is okay, but just make sure it cannot be too wet. And I'm going to just pick up the ink. Okay, just in case, test, testing a little bit, make sure it's not too much ink and enough ink. And then use your finger, try to support your sponge part. Always start from your scrap paper. Not enough, we add more. One direction, very, very important, one direction. You can do right to the left, left to the right, and then kind of just blending it. Remember, got to use your finger, hold that sponge, otherwise your sponge, you're going to lose the head. No, your sponge is going to lose the head. 
okay like these it doesn't have to be like a perfectly even okay so see now I do right to the left left to the right right to the lever good okay and then now we are going to do our red color oh sorry tangelo ladybug ladybug if you want to change your um sponge you can you can do that but i'm going to just use this orange and then this time i am going to pick up the color on the side i want to be a little bit narrow narrow stroke right uh, left to the right right to the left it doesn't have to go all the way you can just stop in the middle okay and then just the sun okay that's it and we are going to do a little bit green memento new sprouts brow sprout okay just make sure they are not too wet if they are too wet it won't pick up the color okay so i'm going to do a little bit sprouts here Okay, and then one more thing is because on my metal, there's a sun color. That's just clean it. Otherwise, if I accidentally um, just uh, rub, maybe this part pick up some yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to do again. Remember, very, very important, use your finger to support, uh, support your sponge. Sometimes you can use the side, you can use the top. When you use the top, you get a, like a more coverage. But sometimes I don't want that much uh, oh, color. So I use the side. I use the side, just the side. Just do like this. I hope you guys don't hear the, the background. I think somebody is uh, doing some garden work outside okay so that's my green and then i am going to use my blue my favorite blue okay. the phone um the foam foam impact they is more juicy than the fill topping okay so i'm going to just uh, gently remove that remember got to start from your um your scrap paper outside of your paper don't stuff on the top of your paper because we want to have a very very smooth calm color okay just uh, right to the left right to the left okay i do pick up my macho mushroom i do the right and then i do the left i do the right and i do the left sorry i do the left and i do the right okay and then see I'm using actually blue, but when they blending with my green, they actually create a new color. Okay, and then let's do this. Okay. If you want uh, your color more solid, more coverage, you just repeat more, 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 few more times. Okay, let's do that. like this okay and then now i am going to do a little bit darker color this one is the 21 aquamarine is the one I, I created and i'm going to just do this okay now we're going to do a little bit circling from my right side i actually draw a little circle when i draw in a circle also my finger is actually support my foam my sponge so outside outside in okay and then right to the left right to the left you you are going to slowly build up your page okay you want to do a draw a little bit circling you can do that we want to hide the or stroke as much as we can you can do that Okay, but if you just do the tap tapping, 
pouncing, you won't be able to hide your mark, okay? And then you want to do the blending, they got to be wet. If you moisture, if you don't soak your magic mushroom in the water, you won't be able to blend like this. You, If you get lucky, you probably be able to um, tapping for the stencil, but if you want to do the rubbing and then if your magic mushroom is uh, dry, they won't, they won't blending at all. And you are going to say, oh, why is this not working? Okay, so let's do that. Okay, from the corner, we draw a little circle. Okay, from outside in, draw a little circle. Okay, slowly bring the color up. Or if you want to rub in from this direction, one direction only. Try to hide that stroke as much as you can and see by brushing it. Okay, that's a really pretty color already, right? And then we are going to add a little bit purple too. So let's do this purple grape jelly. Okay. Um, I think this is a uh, moisture enough Okay, draw a little circle or you want to just uh, sweep When you see my um, Magic mushroom is go like this. I actually I do a little bit fat too fast So you do like this and then like this like this Left to right left to right, but uh, I do pick it out. I am not uh, like just uh, like a uh, do zzz, like that so right to the uh, left to right right to the left okay sometimes i kind of borrow a little bit of those ink which is the uh, setting on my piece of metal i think that's a really pretty color right same thing on the top draw a circle bring in remember very important use your um your finger hold your head your sponge head Hold your sponge head and then draw in circle. Otherwise, your head is like is going to is going to break. Okay, got to have some support and then see right to the left, right to the left. Go all the way. Don't stop in the middle. If stop middle, is going to have a mark. There you go. I think that's a really, really um, pretty background already, right? So this is the one I'm working on my background first, and then um, I am going to stamp. So before I do that, I'm going to clean my working station. Okay, I really hope you guys don't hear that noisy garden work. Okay, so we are going to use the, our um, stamp positioner and then we are going to do our rice lake uh, background. So this is uh, how I storage all my stuff here. Nice pouch. Okay, so we are going to just uh, put my cards here. And then you can decide on uh, where you want to have your rice lake and then try to put your rice lake as horizontal as you can I'm going to show you a trick um, something else you need to do before we start to stamp so we're going to this how we pick up uh, your stamp right and then on the this the cover of the misty there is a sun well Great, right? So when you want to put on top, you make sure your stamp is uh, horizontal with uh, one of the line. So that way, when you stamp it, you don't make a quick, quick image. I think that's the 
that's good. Yep, that's good enough. That's pretty much in the middle. Or if you want to do a little bit, try to put it in the middle, right? So that way we can still use it or want it a little bit button too. Okay, like this. And then make sure my line is uh, horizontal with the one of the guiding line. Okay, so this one has been um, explained too many times in my video. Um, just make sure when you use a rubber stand, if you don't use that rubber stand for a while, they will become a little bit harder. And then what I do is I just use this one kind of gently sanding the surface a little bit, just like that. You don't have to do every single time. I just found out this way it gave me, uh, give me a better print image. Don't try this on the clear stand because you're going to damage your clear stand for sure. So I'm going to use the Versafine um, Clear. Clear, clear. And then I'm going to just tap in. Okay, make sure nicely ink. Okay, and then here is a one more thing. Um, I found out this part of the stamp, this part of the stamp, is to have some dots, okay? Um, maybe you can see here, these some kind of dots. If you find that dots is a little bit too much, a little bit annoying, so what you can do is we can use your black uh, magic mushroom, kind of pick up uh, some color from there. So I just uh, use this one and then kind of just uh, brush off a little bit the ink. And then I'm going to stamp so that way those dots is not going to affect my image. And I probably have to spend two time to be able to get the best result. Do you remember Kevin from the stamp, um, Stampscape? Always love his artwork. Every time when I, I mean before I start my business, when I go to convention show, I, oh, I always have to stop at his booth to watch his demo. He is just amazing artist. Okay, and then again, I'm going to kind of pick up some those uh, two like a color here so that way my sky doesn't really have those uh, dots okay and then I'm missing a corner here so just make sure when I stamp isn't that pretty okay and then since I spent too much time to do the background right and I just found out what a waste. I'm going to just use my background too. So this is a 5x7 um, card stock. So I'm going to just trim in here. And I'm going to show you how. And then after that, I see I want to have a little bit depth to my card because I want to shovel some of the deer over there. So I count out, I thought, oh, maybe I should just uh, cut it out and show you how did I um, measure the right place. Okay, so I have my base card. This is a 5x7 and my color card is 4.75 by 6.75. And then I have a piece of scrap paper. This is scrap paper is three, three and a quarter and by four and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I want to cut it, right? And then um, I want to make sure that I cutting at the right place. So I kind of use this as a guiding and I'm going to find just a white gel pen. I'm going to just uh, dotting four little dots to help me to guide it. Okay, so you can see there's a four little dots there. And I'm going to just use my ruler to cut that square. Okay, so I just uh, cut this part out, right? And then I am going to use my purple color 
to darken um, the edge a little bit so that way they will back off <laughs> so they will we will create this some kind so it's gonna just just gently circle wrong sometimes I actually use the color on my paper because it's a kind of plastic right so kind of just borrow it a little bit not too much just a little bit just a little bit okay you can use a purple or dark blue they will work just fine so that way and then I'm going to just use this uh, gel, white gel pen kind of just uh, give a few dotting here like this just a few dotting here and then that's it okay so we are going to put um, tape A lot of tape. Is this a big one or a small one? I have a, a lot of tape. Oh, let's just use this uh, one and then I'm going to just uh, give it a little bit dab first. Oh, let me close my ink card first. You don't need to put that many, just a little bit. I can't find my square one, so I'll just do this one. Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, remove. I think this is probably useful. Okay, I didn't peel off all of them and make sure it's the right side. And then I'm going to make sure I put my in the right spot because those phones are so sticky. If you misplace the on your car, you cannot pick it up anymore. So like this. Okay, and then now I'm going to just use my glue runner. And put the put the back like a with a piece of puzzle and then that's my background see exactly the same technique but it looks quite a different right and then I am going to just use my deer peaceful neighborhood there's a few deer the whole family I use the tree off then and then I also use uh, this card too so just uh, put anything you like I or I have a stem set called the uh, dock they have a, some kind of boat dock or some boat over there I think that will looks great too so that's the first part of this video I'm gonna share with you guys we do the background first and then the second part of the video I am going to share with you we just stamp the image like this okay so I'm going to show you two different um, coloring one is uh, the one like our package and the other one is just like um like this is uh, so easy probably like a 10 second we are done so you're going to um stamp is the preferred use the stamp positioner and then stamp like a two time to get the best image and then um remember see here i just found out some of those dots um sometimes it's a little bit too strong so you can use uh, your magic marshal kind of remove a little bit of those color this one I didn't remove this one I remove a little bit more so that's uh, make a difference okay so let's do that we are going to just uh, this uh, is actually much easier that's working on this car first so we are going to just do a little bit blue I have my blue here I don't even need to you know what I'm going to just use a uh, the color which is setting on my magic mushroom so I'm going to just start a little bit from here okay just a rub a little bit color not enough that's add a, a little bit more so just draw a little circle like 
is try to hide that stroke if you can okay try to just uh, do exactly uh, exactly the same thing i was showing in the first part of video so that's the one and i'm going to just draw a little bit circle here draw a circle and the holding the head very important holding the head so that's our blue part okay if you want to create a little bit cloud so let's drag let's drag some color my uh macro mushroom doesn't really show that color because i didn't clean it okay let's just drag some color i think that's good enough and then we are going to do the green i'm going to just use this one i didn't i don't even bother to clean but you do have to clean your here otherwise when you rubbing the color it may pick it might pick up some color so i'm going to just draw a little bit gr uh, green okay rubbing it and then that green and that blue is blending together and then they create a new color very very important use your finger hold your head hold your sponge head circle like this and the bottom part from outside drawing a circle bring in So I only I'm going to only use the three or four color, okay, like this. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit orange. How's my orange? Okay, so this one is uh, I use the red, so I need the orange. I am going to just use my lighter yellow. Okay going to just start exactly on top very gently start just like a gently touch and then draw a little circle and push down so that way you can hide your um that circle spot do again gently just uh, like a, touch the surface of the paper or you can just gently tap tap a little bit too okay hide that stroke okay and then I know it looks a little bit dark, right? Let me trimming it and then you will see the difference. I'm still here. I'm still here. Just let me trimming it. Okay, after you trimming it, it looks much better, right? And then we are going to, again, if you want to, if you want to, we use the or purple just around the corner just to give a little bit color see i always use my finger to support my spongy head if you don't want your sponge uh, die <laughs> be hated you got to take care of your sponge right and then we are going to use the or gel pen just to give a little bit highlighted and then they are just the cougars See how pretty it is, guys. Give it a try. I do exactly the same thing and looks exactly it looks totally different. So this is a kind of more like a summer looking. Let's do one is a more like a dark light. So I am going to grab one and this is actually print image. Uh, this is a stem image and this is a print. Okay, so I am going to just use my orange. Okay, ten 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 jello. And then I'm going to start from here. So I am going to just uh, too lazy to grab my metal piece. So I'm going to just uh, rub like this. Okay. You can really control it. When you release your pressure, just gently brush. They are lighter color. And then go deep in your impact and then use a, a side, just a side and then oops. See, this is something you don't want it. It's a kind of like a mark. Use the side gently, but that's okay. I'm going to try to hide it if I can. I can't hide. That's okay. I can't hide it. Okay, so don't do that. But actually that looks kind of like a big sun going down. Well, that's okay. Let's see what do we do. Let's try, let's try to hide it. Let's do our best. So, 
or you can just give it to your sister in law then. End of the story. What happening? Oh, something happened actually. It's very good. I'll show you later. Okay, so we're going to start from the corner. So it's a good idea to use that piece of metal because that way you can really drag. Oh, Boo Boo is having a nightmare. I don't, I'm wondering what the dog is dreaming about. Why he have a nightmare? What are he dreaming? Okay, so slowly bring it down. Okay, it's there already, so that's okay. That's just like a big, big sun. Okay, rub, rub, rub. Use the side. Okay, and then we're going to just clean here. And I'm going to add a little bit purple. So before we do the purple, let's just give a little bit base color. I just use the, the sponge, uh, the color which is on my magic mushroom. See, it still have a lot of color, okay? You release the pressure a little bit, it's a lighter color. You push harder, it's a darker color. So that was the color on my magic mushroom. And I think it's enough. And then I'm going to just do a little bit. You can do purple, you can do pink. So gently brush. See, they kind of they have their unique way. And you know what? Let's just try these things I accidentally tap on top. That's uh, just just uh, make it up. Maybe like a, a some. Hey, I think that looks really good. <laughs> what do you think? Not bad, right? I think that looks good enough. If you don't like it, give it to your sister now. But I think that looks actually pretty good. And then we're going to just give a little bit highlight or wait a little bit. Um, if they are wet, your gel pen doesn't really work. That looks kind of unique. See? Oops is good. Boo Boo is good. Boo this is a oops. This is not Boo Boo. Otherwise, I have to name my dog Oops. Not Boo Boo. What's the difference between oops and boo boo? It's the same. Okay, so that's another one. Same stamp. They all look different. Which one is your favorite? Oh, and then this one, I kind of add um, something there. A moon or star. Like that, or you can put some light. I mean, the star there too. And then I just show you something I accidentally leave my rack over there, which is great. I did this before. Um, I did it one time. I was doing some artwork, and I, I, I was I did it at a friend's house. And I come back home, I was holding my um car like that, and it was raining. So actually, they create some kind of effect. So that's just do do this. We just uh, sprinkle some water on that. Okay, and then you can see actually some spot is it coming, is it showing, or you you can just use a bleach, create some kind of texture. Do I have a tissue paper here? I don't have a tissue paper here. Otherwise, I can. Oh, this is uh, showing something. If you like. Hey, today's video is good. I accidentally put that circle there. I think it's create a beautiful sunset, right? So, that's everything for today. I hope you guys get a little bit more information how to use a local king's magic mushroom and. Um, um i think uh this rice lake stamp a lot of you guys have a rice lake rice lake this one is the water is it kind of eating i think if you do like a bleach it's going to even show better so i 
hope this video will give you some idea and then make you itchy a little bit want to give a try i know a lot of you guys have this rice lake uh, stamp just give it a try and uh, um post your car under the um local kings facebook page um, I love to see what are you guys to do with the, the stem and the, the technique. If you have any questions, send me an email or leave me a comment. I pretty I did a pretty good job. I always reply uh, my comment if you have any question. So hoping you like today's video. Got to go check on Boo Boo. I don't know why he's having a nightmare. So this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stem. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys.